Union today at St. Luke's Medical Center between a man who suffered a heart attack and the two fellow travelers who were just in the right place at the right time to save him. Doctors say Michael Balvey had a massive heart attack. Our Evan Peterson joins us now in studio with the surprising help that saved his life. Yeah, hey there, guys. Michael Bovey was col collecting his bags when he suddenly collapsed to the floor. He was having a massive heart attack. But today, he's alive and well, thanks to two fellow passengers who jumped into action. So close to being on the wrong side of the grass, it's unbelievable. Michael Bovey, in his own words, about his brush with death roughly a month ago. I remember the flight attendant saying to put your seats up and the tray, backs, tray tables up because we're getting ready to land. The next thing I remember is waking up here at St. Luke's that evening. Coming back from vacation, he had a heart attack at the airport's baggage claim. Three of the main arteries were completely blocked, and one was only working maybe, I think, 90 or 95 percent. But just as he hit the ground, others went into action. I guess my adrenaline just took over. I knew I had to roll him on his back, and I just started doing compressions. These two, an off-duty nurse, the other, a paramedic, who were on the same flight knew they had to act fast. Just took over, started doing the CPR. We got the AED pads on him. He was shocked nearly 10 times before coming to at the hospital. When I woke up, I was having a dream of some kind. Bovey had a quadruple bypass surgery to get his heart back in working condition. And today, three weeks later, he met those who saved his life for the first time. I mean, I owe my life to them. I mean, they're not in there. The, you know, the, the paramedic or the nurse there. I mean, I'm dead on the floor. Reunited all with smiles. A chance to say thank you to those who stepped up. Thank, thankful, thankful, thankful they were there. Mr. Bovey tells me that this brush with death has left him humbled. He says that he plans to actually get recertified in CPR so that if he ever finds himself in a position to save someone's life, he'll be able to do so. Ben, Stephanie. Once again, CPR proving life saving. Evan, thank you. Yeah, you don't need to be a nurse or you a don't. paramedic, you know, it could be anyone. We've seen kids that. do it, you know, in some stories. Well, still ahead here at six, the